channel. So today I'm gonna be doing this look that's on my face right now, obviously. I posted this look on Instagram and also on and also on the beauty group that I'm in Mrs. Gloss and I've never had so many requests to do a tutorial for the look so I thought well today's the day I'll do it I'll do it today but I am as you will find out in this video the odds are against us we've got fight club going on upstairs we've got the husband needing me to be quiet we've also got the Chelsea flower show outside my bedroom window in Edinburgh and they won't stop mowing the lawn so it was it was a bit hit and miss I am um, it's gonna be quite noisy at some points and I do apologize but today was the only day I could film this so I really wanted to get it done regardless of the, the circumstances. I'm gonna link everything that's on my face as always down in the description box down below but the main palette we're gonna be working with is the Morphe 35B. Um, I love it. I think it's great. I think you need it. Clearly the colour payoff is phenomenal. Before you carry on please just do subscribe to my channel. The button's just down here and I loved, I would love that. I absolutely love getting new subscribers. It makes me so incredibly happy. And also give this video a thumbs up and a comment once you've watched it if you fancy because I like that too. And come and follow my Instagram. My name will be up on screen. It's just make me up Missa. And when I hit 30k, which we're not that far off, I have another giveaway coming. So I'm currently running one, although it might be done by the time this video goes up probably, um, but I'll have another one coming for my Instagram 30k if we hit that really soon, which I hope we will. Anyway, I'm just blabbering on now, so if you want to see how I did this rainbowy, James Charles inspired, smoky, blown out, fun eye, then just keep watching. So starting off, I've already obviously got my brows on, I've got my foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, I've not done blush or highlight. Um, and also my eyelids aren't primed so they're still tacky which is why they're creased which is fine um, but I'm going to put on some powder under my eyes to catch any fallout if there will be any and I'm going to use my Sarazar um, HD setting finishing powder I really love this especially because it smells like vanilla like really nicely vanilla so I'm just going to use a sponge and just pop that under my eyes kind of baking but it's more just to catch any shadow. I've just gone ahead and carved out my nose as well because I might as well help with contouring my chubby nose. So yesterday I used a few different palettes for the look, but mostly my Morphe 35B, which is this beautiful palette here. But on standby on the side, I've also got my BH Take Me to Brazil palette. Um, just in case I need it. I didn't use that yesterday actually, but I did use a couple of shades from the new Sample Beauty Cult Palette. This is their new palette that they've just released and the pigmentation on this is incredible. I used a little bit of this blue and a little bit of this pink yesterday, so we'll use a little bit of that today as well. Today is just not a good filming day. My neighbours upstairs are doing Fight Club or something because it's so noisy and there's tons of people out in the gardens because it's sunny. So if you hear so much noise, I'm really sorry. But I really want to do this tutorial before I have no time. So I'm just patting out the concealer on my lid, just with a concealer brush, just to try and get rid of the most of the kind of um, creases. And then I'm going to use a small kind of fairly fluffy brush and I'm going to go into a deep navy blue as my first shade. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm going to start popping that on my outer half of my eye. Okay, sorry for this sudden change in backdrop. I really love my sparkly one but I feel like it plays really badly with my camera focus for some reason. So I had to just take that off and put my pink one up again. Um, and I know that's kind of weird mid video but just got to adapt and overcome. So I'm just pressing that navy shade <laughs> into the outer half of my eye and kind of pulling it out slightly on that outer corner and I'm going to just place it on the half, the outer half of my mobile lid as well. So we've got something that looks really good. 
So that navy was the shade I just used. So I'm gonna dip into this shade now, this lighter blue on a kind of fluffier brush. I am gonna just blend the edges of that blue a little bit and pull it outwards as well towards the tail of my brow. So funny, as soon as there's sun, everyone's outside in their shorts in Scotland having barbecues, even if it's not that hot. Starting to bring that nice light blue in. And I'm not too worried about the navy blending into it yet, so I'm going to go in with a different brush and do that. But I'm just going to pick up a clean fluffy brush and then from my sample palette, sample beauty palette, I'm going to take this really bright, really bright blue and I'm just going to take that around the very top. and blend that second shade out a bit more. It's a really big dramatic look, so I'm almost touching my brow and I don't mind. I want the kind of definition of a darker blue and a lighter blue, because on the other side I do pink and purple and I think they're quite defined as well. So now I'm gonna dip back into the navy and a little bit of the second blue shade. So I'm gonna mix the navy with the shade on my brush and start to blend those two shades a bit better together. So although it's big and bold, it still needs to be blended. I really need to eat something. My energy levels are so low, but I'm, I really want to get this video done so I can edit it and put it up. Anyway, I'm going to dip into this bright green shade from the Morphe palette on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop that just at the start and I'm being very gentle with it. I'm not actually wanting a lot of colour from it. And then I'm just going to use a bit more navy to bring up a bit higher in my crease. I want it to be quite dark as well, quite bold. And then on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into the yellow from the Sample Beauty palette because I just want a bit more, I think, brightness at the beginning. So I'll just kind of pop it over the green, just a little bit. And I'm going kind of right onto the side of my nose Like I said, it's a really big, like blown out, smoky look. So I might even just use the excess just to blend the very top of everything as it kind of hits my brow. So I really do feel this look is quite easy. I think it looks more kind of intricate than it actually is. Because that's just what, three or four shades. I just hope I can do it as good as I did it like for my picture. I'm just going back in with a little bit of navy. Because I feel like when I open my eye, I still want to see it above my crease. Because we're going to really contrast it with pink in a second. So I'm going to leave that eye for just now and we'll move on to this side. I'm just going to use my same brushes and I'm just going to clean them off on like my towel. Um, and get most of the colour off them. So I'm just gonna kind of pat out the creases again. And now I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is a really deep purple. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. Um, it's a super, super deep purple shade. Just looks almost, it looks almost black on camera. And I'm just gonna copy the same thing on this eye. So I'm just going to stamp it on in a curved shape up round my crease. And do you see how pigmented these colours are over a tacky base? Like it's fantastic. And then I'll just pat that on the outer half of the lid as well. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit, just trying to make sure I've got the same 
shape as the other side. I don't want to pull it out too much because I want my um, lighter colour to do a lot of the blending work. And then the second shade for this side is going to be this super, super bright pink. I'm really hitting pan on that one. So I might use a little bit of my Sample Beauty bright pink as well, just so I can really get a lot of pigment, but I don't need two different pinks. And then I'm just going to start blending that on the edges. This is weird, I never do two eyes on camera, I've always got one eye done. The good thing is I can see on that powder that I'm picking up fallout, which is really good. I need a fluffier brush. Look at the colour of that, it's so vibrant. I love bright pink. I'm just gonna do what I did on the other side with the second shade of blue and just start bringing it up towards my brow and winging it out. Just hope I can make them fairly symmetrical. You can still see the really sharp edge of the purple, but don't worry about that. As always, we'll go back in and blend it. Right now, I'm just focusing on packing on that lovely bright pink shade. This would be such a good look if you've got like a festival that you're going to. I'm going to go in with this purple here. So the second kind of deepest purple. And I'm going to make sure to blend the edge of this deep purple much better into the pink. Just putting like really small circular motions, that's what I'm doing. starting to look a little bit more seamless. I don't understand, like I was so against trying eyeshadows over a sticky base because I was so worried it was going to be really really hard to blend but it's just not at all. I'm going in with a bit more pink because I do want a lot of pink showing as well as purple. And then again with that yellow from the sample palette on my fluffy brush, I'm just going to go on this inner corner. And when it touches the pink, it's going to start to look a bit orange. So it's going to help differentiate it from this side, but still help the blending. I'm just taking that very gently over the whole kind of top. I might even add a little bit more on this side because I'm quite enjoying it being right up on my nose, like the side of my nose as opposed to, I just bit my tongue, as opposed to just quite gently. I feel like this looks going to be more dramatic than yesterday's, but that's okay. But if you feel you've gone a bit too nuts, just dip into a white and just kind of gently pop that over and around the edges and it'll help soften it up a little bit. I love this, it's looking so rainbow. So now I'm gonna take like a wide flat brush. This is actually the Sigma E58 brush and I'm gonna start packing pink on this kind of inner corner and green on this inner corner. And yesterday I did put shadows down first because I thought that kind of gave it something to stick to a little bit. So, I'm gonna use this green from the Morphe palette because it has a bit of shimmer to it, but I'm gonna spray it with a setting spray just to make it quite vibrant because it's not the best green in the palette for packing color on, to be honest. So I've just sprayed it, and now I'm gonna start patting that on this inner corner. And honestly, I was not neat about this at all and I take it way above my crease. And I'm patting it on as opposed to like swiping it on. Just to about, maybe like a third of my eye. Like I said, I'm not being neat about this. I mean, I'm not being horribly messy, but I'm not being like really specific either. 
right into the inner corner. Okay, now on the same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off on my towel because I don't have a color switch. I'm dipping into this pink shade from the Morphe palette, which also has a little bit of shimmer to it. These are shades that I've never really used before, but they're just quite handy for this look. Spray it and do the same thing on this side. Again, it's just a base though for the kind of metallic shades we're putting on top. Just kind of patting that on. I'm not worried about the edges being blended as in into the blue right now. And then that's kind of our base for working on with lots of lovely metallic shades. So give me two seconds, I need to change my camera battery and then I'll be back. Right, I feel like I can start talking normally again because Hamish was home up until this point and he was working so I didn't want to make too much noise. So now I feel like I can project my voice and, and talk normally. So the next product we're going to go in with is the Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Topper. This is in the shade Supernova. This is really, really pretty. It looks like this. It's green. And I'm going to paint that. I'm putting this on my green side. And I'm going to start painting that on. And I'm not going to take it as far as I did the shadow because I'm going to pat it out with a brush. I'm going to kind of paint it straight from the bullet. Bullet the wand. I can't believe all the distractions during this video. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take it and paint it onto that brush that I was using and just tap out the edges. Because I don't want a harsh line at all, I want it really kind of blown out. So I'm taking it right up the side, like on the side of my nose almost. And taking it, and I'm just patting it. Like that. I actually feel like this is drying up and I've really not used it very much. There we go, there's a bit more product. I just find when I use a brush, I've got a bit more control over it than straight from the wand. You also don't want to layer it on too thickly because it can, it doesn't crack, but it almost like separates from your skin and doesn't look that great. So you just want to use quite a thin layer. Kind of blending the edges into the purple just by tapping. And see how that's just so much more bold now and bright. And what I also did for yesterday's look was went into the shade Lucky Clover from my Moonchild Glow Kit because it's green, very green toned. Popped it on a brush, sprayed it, and then went round the edges a little bit more and take that down into the inner corner as well because so I want it to be incredibly bold and bright at the very start of my eye and then I'm going to dip into pink again just the first pink that we use and just go a little bit where the green meets the purple There we go. And then my next, my next stage for the green is to go in with my Urban Decay Distortion Liner. You'll have seen me use this quite a few times. And I'm just gonna go over kind of everywhere I put that Barry M. Because the Barry M's more of a metallic paste, whereas this is just glitter and I want that glitter in my look as well. And then for the pink side, I'm going in with my Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow in Ballet Baby. And again, I'm just gonna paint it on straight from the wand. Actually, yesterday I used Sunset Cove as well, but I didn't really need to use two different ones, so I'm just gonna use Ballet Baby for this one. So I've put it on initially 
straight from the wand and then I'm going to put some on my brush and start to drag it up and out. And sorry, they're now strimming outside. I'm going to go into Pink Heart this time on my Moonchild Glow Kit. Spray it out, spray that in my eye. This is a disaster. And then I'm going to go around the edges and into that inner corner. Just very lightly. When you've packed the seal on as well, try not to open your eye too much because you want to let it kind of dry first. Because sometimes I find like if I've got it on, it's so wet and then I open my eye fully, it kind of settles in the creases. So I'm just trying to let it dry a little bit first before I open my eye fully. I've been waiting about 20 minutes now to try and tell you what I'm doing next. So I'm just going in with my Urban Decay Grind Liner, the pink one on top of the pink just like we did with the green here, and I just need to get it done. So now I'm gonna wipe away my bake and all the fallout. See, just, it's like a blank canvas, it's so good. And then we'll move on to finishing off the rest of the skin and hopefully he will stop doing his garden. By the time I'm ready. So like I said, I've got most of my base on already. I might just put a little bit more bronzer on. I feel like kind of with all that bake, I've lost a little bit of my bronziness. So I'm gonna use my NARS Laguna bronzer and just add a little bit more bronze. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use my Milani one because I love it so much. This is in 05. And someone pointed out, it's like a dupe of the MAC ones. And if it is, that's really cool. I've never tried a MAC bronzer though. But I was wondering why I loved this one so much and that'll be why. Then for highlight, I'm just gonna use the ABH Pink Heart shade, but I'm gonna use a little bit, and well, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my Revolution Pro one because this pink one's a really good tone as well. So I'll probably just mix them on my brush. Which is picking up the Revolution, picking up the ABH one. I'm going to spray it because I want it to be quite intense. And then just start popping that on. I personally love pink toned highlighters. I think of all the kind of colours that are out there, pink's the most wearable for me. Now I'll put some blush on, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in Blossom Time Rose. I'm going to use this really bright pink Makeup Revolution one. It's very shimmery which is why I like it because it's more like a blush topper. So it still adds a sheen of highlight while being pink. So it's adding even more sheen to the cheek. But it's not over the top. And I think it just looks really healthy and lovely. So on this purple side, I'm gonna go in, or should I do it on this side? I can't remember. No, that makes more sense. So on this blue and pink side, I'm going in with this pink lip liner. It's not an eyeliner, it's a lip liner by Kiko shade endless love don't do this at home if you're not comfortable with putting lip liners on your waterline and on the other side i'm going in with another kiko one but it's blue and it is actually an eyeliner and i'm just going to line both of my waterlines just with the different colors i'm taking it down below my lashes as well so bright blue and bright pink and then we're just going to run shadows underneath the eyes to kind of correspond with that. So let me open this palette again. I'm just going to take a little brush and dip into the bright pink. Tap off the excess and then just run that along the lower lash line. And I'm connecting it to the top 
on the outer corner. Dipping into a bright blue for this side. And then on a flat brush, I can go right under my lash line. I'm dipping into that navy. And I'm also mixing it a little bit with black, just from the Morphe palette. I'm gonna run that much closer to my lash line, just to add a bit more definition under there. Same thing on the other side, but I'm dipping into really, really deep purple and black. Now I'm going to put on some lashes and I'm going to put on the Pinky Goat Amira lashes. These are really, really pretty, really dramatic fluttering ones. Yesterday I didn't do such dramatic ones, but today I want more drama. So these are Amira by Pinky Goat and they're very pretty. Because we're going super extra, I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes just quickly, just as a base. I'm gonna let that just dry for a second and then on this eye where I've got the blue on the bottom, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Vivid Brights and this is in Vivid Sapphire, I think. Yeah, Vivid Sapphire. And I'm just gonna paint this onto my lower lashes. Just using like the side of the brush. And see, it's just making my lashes like obviously super blue, but I just think it adds a little bit more, especially like close up. And then on the pink side, because I have the pink Vivid Brights, but it's almost completely dried up. So I'm just gonna use this red one, which is Vivid Fire. I probably could have guessed that. And just paint that on these lashes. So while the man was lawn mowing again, still lawn mowing however long it's been, I used my Topshop um, lip liner in ceramic. I really like that colour. And now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in 060, 060, 60 Tease, which is just a nude lip gloss. And I'm just going to shove this on my very dry, horrible lips. I've just run out of my... Um, trusty Blistex, so I need to go and buy some more. I think that colour is so beautiful. It's my favourite nude lip gloss I've ever used because it is so pale. And it just makes the eyes do all of the talking. I feel like I'm losing a bit of my contour, so I'm just gonna go in with my sleek contour kit. This is probably my favorite drugstore contour color, this one here, it's just perfect. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. And then to finish off, I'm gonna go in with a spray of my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This is super, super dewy, I love it a lot. And here we go then, this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love it. Like I love having two different colors on my eyes. I think it's really cool. And I think this is super, super festival. If you've got any like face gems or anything, you could shove them on or even more glitter or just do anything a little bit extra and then it's like proper festival makeup. So that is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about all the noise pollution from the outside and also that I had to be very quiet at the beginning of the video. Um, I just didn't want to disrupt Hamish working in his office so I definitely prefer filming when he's not in the house because then I can just be really loud and not worry about it. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video even though it was a little bit disastrous um, and also let me know what you think of me having a backdrop I'm still not convinced but actually I do think it looks quite good but anyway let me know what you think and yeah um, please do subscribe before you go leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment tell me what you think and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye